Okay, so let us proceed. Yeah, I admit sa anak ko rin open. Okay, so we have already done this. No? Then the next one, <clears throat> in case there will be, no? there will be, let me, okay. In case there will be a double bond and at the same time a triple bond, how are you going to name this? Okay, so here it is. Review sa nato, Nive. Admit sa nato. What is important in this topic is you should know how to name. Naming na magiging importante ani. Okay. So, for instance, this one. Okay. Mag-admit sa ta. Okay, here. Na? So, for instance, we have this. Na? As we had already known that we will start with carbon one katung na a do sa double or triple bond. Here it is. This is therefore it should this should not be our carbon one. This should be our carbon one. So this is carbon one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it is no name. No? So we have already no name. But no, what happened here is there is a triple bond at carbon one. There is a double bond at carbon two. So how are you going to name this? So the first thing that you should do is have the substituent. Where are the substituent? There is <clears throat> methyl in carbon three. There is ethyl in carbon there is ethyl in carbon ethyl in carbon 6 okay asa may una of course by means of alphabetical arrangement that is 6 ethyl then 3 methyl kanidi ni siya mao then isun asa man ang double bond it is in carbon 4 ani ni siya 6 ethyl 3 methyl 4 in Ang butan niyo nga ni is 4 in, then 1, no, 9. Ha? Dili ni mao, ha? Kani, ilain niyo ang 4. That is 4 in, E-N-E. -E, no? I repeat, this is 6 ethyl, 3 methyl, 4 in, 1, no, 9. Okay? So that's the name of that. No? Unahon sa the location of the double bond are indicated before the parent name. No? So you indicate that is it is for in. Then before dion ang triple bond. No? Indicated between the in and the y and e suffix. So that is for in, then one, no, nine. Okay, so that is the name of that. Uh, so this will be your assignment that should be submitted. Sige lang, ibutang na ko ni siya sa LMS na as assignment. Ako na nang ibutang na. Then that should be submitted tomorrow. Okay, so here it is. Next thing that we should know, do is what are the properties, the physical properties of the alkenes and the alkyne. Na? Do not worry, I will have more videos on the naming. Mag-upload mag ko video on the naming. Na? So, this is it. Alkenes and alkynes are, of course, they are most of the, na? most of the functional groups are nonpolar compounds. Nonpolar na siya yun, na? Only alcohols, later on you will find it out a later, na? Alcohols, for instance, lower substituent until carbon-4, Kuampasya, no? 
it could st it's still soluble. But for higher compounds, higher carbon, no, no more. No. But for the hydrocarbons, the gynecia, it's not soluble. No. So alkenes and alkynes are nonpolar compounds, and only attractive forces between them are the weak London dispersion forces. What are weak London dispersion forces? Actually, this is an intermolecular force between an atom. No? Between an atom, pero weak ni siya nga klase nga, nga London dispersion force. Weak ni siya nga klase nga bond. No? So that is why most of the alkenes and the alkynes are insoluble. E even in the nonpolar solvent. No? So their physical properties, therefore, are similar to those of the alkanes. No? And alkenes and alkynes are liquid at room temperature. No? So, more na mga gasoline. No? Gasoline, no? those are examples of an alkenes and alkyne. They are insoluble in water, but soluble in one on another. Basta kay non-polar organic liquids. Pero sa water, it's not. Huh? How are we going to name the terpenes? The terpenes are the two or more units identified with five carbon skeleton. Basta five carbon skeleton ganisha. It is known as the isoprene unit. This is an isoprene unit. Take a look. That's one, two, three, four, five. Huh? Pero continuous nga four ang carbon. So this is your head, this is your carbon one, and this is your tail. That this is known an isoprene unit. No? So carbon one of the isoprene unit is called the head. Carbon four is called the tail. It is a five carbon skeleton. No? Five carbon skeleton. So a terpene is a compound in which the tail of one of the isoprene unit becomes bonded to the head of the isoprene unit. This is the head and this is the tail. So these are example of an isoprene unit. Na? So itong isoprene unit, lima siya ka carbon pero continuous siya nga upat ka carbon. Na? Lima kay na amin siya substituent, na? Na usa, na? For instance, this one, this are example of an isoprene unit. Kani, it's a bay oil, the myrcene. So where is our isoprene unit? This is the one, two, three, four, na? First isoprene unit. Doon ni siya kabuk isoprene unit. Then the other one, this is one, two, three, four. Where is the head? Kani ang head? Mauni ang, kani ang head, mauni ang tail. So, my resin, a bay oil, bay oil no, has two isoprene units. This geran oil has a two isoprene unit. Same thing with this, no, lemon and orange no, has a two isoprene unit. Can you put two isoprene unit? No? So, four terpenes each derived from two isoprene units bonded from tail of the first unit to the head. No? Example of this is the lemonine, the menthol, no? which has this formation, that isoprene unit. Mauna siya ang laurel, source of the myrcene bay oil. Okay. This is the lily of the bali. Pila ka isoprene unit ni siya, murag upat siguro. Meaning, kung upat ni siya, 20 ka carbons, no? 20 divided by 5, it's 4. Okay. So, even vitamin E, this is vitamin E. Vitamin E is in a form of terpene with formula, molecular formula of C28-30. Therefore, how many isoprene units? As I said, divide this. Carbon. Ang carbon yung basis. 20 divided by 5, it's 4. So, meaning it consists of four isoprene unit, which is bonded from head to tail. Okay, so this is the structure of vitamin A. It is an isoprene unit. So let's move on to the reaction of an alkane. Alkenes has this 
for reaction, it could either be by means of hydrochlorination. Gusto man hydrochlorination class? Hydrochlorination meaning you will add it with hydrogen chloride or HCl. Then the second type is the hydration, meaning you are going to adhere. No? This is added with whatever is an alkene added with HCl, you will form a hydrochlorination. Here, you have an alkene here added with water, basta hydration, water, na, ang reaction niya, ang reactant niya. It will form hydration. Here, bromination, meaning you are going to add with the, no, with the halogen bromine, it's a diatomic to form this bromination. And the last one is hydrogenation, meaning add it with Hydrogen. La in ang hydration, mga bata, ha? Hydration, it is added with water. Ang hydrogenation, it's added with hydrogen molecule alone. So let us have it one at a time. No? The first reaction is addition of hydrogen halides. No? This is known as, mingkang halides gani is, kana sinatalanga na as a group 7 sa periodic table. Diba naman? Group 7 in the periodic table is, Chlorine, bromine, iodine, fluorine. Pero ayun na lang yung apila ang fluorine kay Dili, kay Shakuan, gamit sa high hydrogen halides. So, the chlorine, bromine, iodine are the so-called the hydrogen halides or they are so-called the alkyl halides. So, example for this, it's an ethylene. When ethylene is added with HCl, no, you will have two formation. Either your hydrogen here will add to that, kana, then your chlorine here will add to this. Or vice versa, kay ethylene raman, na? This hydrogen here will add to this, and the chlorine will be here, na? So, the name of this is ethyl chloride, na? How about kung dili ethylene? Okay. We will have it with... Regioselective reaction. What is regioselective reaction? Okay. The regioselective reaction is known as the mark. It will follow the Markovnikov's rule. Mara Markovnikov's rule, ma'am. Okay. It is Vladimir Markovnikov. He is a Russian. Okay. Who made this general rule? Na? In the addition of halogens. Na? The HX. Na? So may but pa sa but aniniya. Na? Meaning in the double bonded carbon, the greater number of hydrogen, kung asa tong dako nga daghan nga hydrogen, nga to ang hydrogen mo attach. O ang, ang halogen, the HCl, the iodine, and the bromine, nga to siya sa mo attach sa less number of hydrogen. That is why it's so called, no, kani, tawag ani richer gets more rich. Ah, Markovnikov's rule is a fire phrase, the rich get richer. Nga naman, mangita ka, for instance, here, you have the HCl. Okay. Asa may mas daghan o hydrogen? Carbon 1 or carbon 2? Carbon 1. Therefore, kaning hydrogen ni mo, mo attach na siya sa richer. Mas daghan nga hydrogen. O ang imong chlorine nga to sa less o hydrogen. Meaning, you will form here two chloropropane. Dili ni siya mao. No? Kani. Kaya nga naman, according to Markovnikov's rule, where is your hydrogen? Mo attach? Nga to sa mas daghan nga hydrogen. O katong less nga hydrogen, nga to ma-attach ang imong chlorine, bromine, iodine, or the halides. No? So this is our major... No? Major product, major, major product. Okay, here it is. What is that? That is Markovnikov's rule. Remember, ha? Huh? Markovnikov's rule state that your halogen, uh, your halogen will go to less number of hydrogen. Your hydrogen will attach to the more number of hydrogen. For instance, here, mm, can it? in A, so, that is, this is now, where is our double bond? Gani? Huh? Uh, where will, 
our hydrogen attached. It will attach to this. Nga naman, mas dagan ma iyang hydrogen. Ang mong iodine mo attach nga ha. You get it? Ha? Here it is. Therefore, you will form this 2 iodot 2 methyl propane. That is for the addition of an alkene. Here, na? So, asa man siya mo attach? Mo attach siya na? Pag attach ani is ngad to. Mawa naman yung double bond. Pag attach ani, mawa yung double bond mo, di ni mo makit ang kaayo. Na? Okay. Ngan hi man siya. Manin siya mo attach. Kana, nga na, mo attach. Ang usa ka hydrogen. Mawa ang yung double bond, then chlorine da yung na. That is one chloro, one methyl cyclopentane. What is the rule? Marconicops rule. So here, let us have it here. Another one, can he? No? How are we going to have here? Of course, your hydrogen will attach to the richer one, no? that one. Then your bromine will attach to that portion there. Okay? Uh, so, step one. Hmm. We use a curved arrow, no? mechanism of hydrogen chloride with two butene. Okay, so here it is. No? Diba? Una sa ang hydrogen sa, na ang double bond nga ni A. Okay, ang double bond nga ni A, agoy kay pariyo naman siya. So pwede na ni siya nga ha, A, parang nga ni A. No? Pwede na po itong usa. No? So this is, but what happened here is, this is richer. That is what is meaning by carbocation. The carbocation, the secondary carbocation, what happened here is because your hydrogen no, loses no, its electron, no, this will gain an electron. Now that is why it's so-called positive here. No? What is carbocation? These are species containing carboatom with only three bonds to it bearing a positive charge. So that is it. Na? And your carbocation could be classified into three, the primary, the secondary, tertiary. Magdepende na siya asa dapit mo attach ang imong charge. Okay, step two. Na? Here it is. No need for this, but we will just let you show it. Aromakit ani mo. Diba ang chlorine? Ah, balik tas in org. No? Ang chlorine, how many? It is in group 7. Therefore, how many? Nga na, ah, pito na siya ka. No? Pito na siya ka. Dat. No? Pero kinahanglan lang siya usa ka dat. Kaya aron mahimo siyang stable. So, mukuha siya nga ni ah. No? So, it is a so-called, therefore, you will have here a secondary carbocation. You will form here two chlorobutene. It is a secondary butyl chloride. No? So this is what is meant by regio selective. No? There no need for that. Basta, what you should think of is where will your hydrogen attach? It will attach in the more hydrogen na, and your halogen, your chlorine, bromine, iodine will attach to less hydrogen. Okay? So that is it. So these are just a solution of the radio selective. Na? The next thing is the addition. Na? Addition of water. That is what is meant by hydration. For instance, we have here ethylene. Are ethylene added with water? No? Wala na ni siya i-follow nga Marconicus rule. Okay. Therefore, if you are going to have this H2O, that is the same as H positive no, charge, that OH negative charge. Okay. So that is why your H here will attach to this portion here, then OH will attach here. It is an ethanol. Na? Kung hydration gani mga bata, unsa ang imong product, it is an alcohol. No? It will have all. Na? Ending of all here. 
Sige lang, next time pa na kung saan pag ni. Then we have the propene. And the propene, same process. This will attach with your hydrogen yan ni A, ang OH pag 2A. It is, no? It is a 2 propanol. And for the other one, na ka ni, another third example, this will also follow the Markovnikov's rule. Depende ang hydrogen ni mo nga tugod sa richer. No? So kung kani, kani, why problema? Bisag asa. It will be still correct. Your hydrogen will be here, an OH here, or your hydrogen here, OH yan na niya. Pero kani sa propene, this will follow now the Markovnikov's rule. Where will be our hydrogen? Here, kani, kay mas richer man is siya. Where will be our OH, yan as a second, sa CH. That is why it's so-called 2-propanol. Here, of course, the same process. Your hydrogen will attach here, and your OH will attach many A. No? So, you will form 2-methyl 2-propanol. Okay. Then, for acid hydration, kani kay, no, water, addition of water. No? Kani, Hydration of alkene. Ah, same pag yakon ang saon pag koan, na? So, same process pag yakon using the Markovnikov's rule. Your H will attach to more hydrogen species, na? That's it. So, this will be your assignment. I will place this in R, na? I will place this in our LMS for your assignment. Aha, na? This is a step by step. No need for this, na? This is a step by step carbocation, na? Basta ang importante is you should know where your hydrogen will attach if it is hydration. It will attach to the richer hydrogen in the structure, na? Patong na carbon nga mas taas ang iyang hydrogen nga to mo attach ang imong hydrogen. For instance, like this, no, the CH2, this CH, meaning your hydrogen will attach with your CH2. Then the OH will attach na na. Ah, okay, kana siya. Your oxonium ion, oxonium ion is the OH. No? Same process. Okay. Gi, step by step lang ni siya. Mm -hmm. Yan na ni. Mm -hmm. How about in the addition of bromine and chlorine? We are now in halogenation. Na? In the halogenation, what happened is na, this will be carried out using, na, this is being mixed. Kani mga kana, kana siya, mga bata. These are just reagents, the CH2Cl2, CH2Cl2. These are reagents that is, this will enhance This will hasten up the reaction. But this will not be seen in the product. Ha? Wala na siya ilabo. Kanira good siya nga niya. At kanira ang main ingredients. So, if this is halogenation, this is BR2 or BR and BR. Therefore, one of your bromine will attach here. The other bromine will attach nga niya. To form 2,3-dibromobutane. Kani, same process. Kani nga niya. Mo-attach nga ni A, and the other one, mo-attach nga ni A. Because this is cyclohexene, therefore, one, two, dibromo cyclohexene. That is for the addition of bromine and chlorine. No? For instance here, no? always remember that you will have this reagent, that is the dichloromethane. Is dichloromethane tawag ani. Therefore, if this will be the case, mo attach ang usa ka bromine ni mo sa ani a, and another bromine will attach to that. Okay, here your chlorine will attach ani a, na kaman ang chlorine. Ang another chlorine mo attach po ngadto as ibabaw. Okay, so that is in the addition of halogens to alkene. So. This is another assignment. No? The next thing is the addition of no? hydrogen. No? Addition of hydrogen. 
Okay, so here with this, uh, it's easy for the hydrogen because all you have to do is look for the double bond, i-distribute na niya ang usaka hydrogen na na, ang usaka hydrogen na na. And this will form into an alkane. Na? An alkene added with hydrogen, na? diatomic hydrogen, and what will happen? This will form into an alkane. Alkene into alkane. Na? But this is reversible. Reversible, meaning mubalik siya. Na? Kung i-add na po ni mo another, na? that is why so called reversible. Kung pa, ang reaction padulongan ha, ah, pero kung kanina po, imo na po siyang dungagan, kanigya po siya po balik. That's reversible. So this is added with platinum. No? So in order to enhance the reaction. So kaning platinum, pwede ragya po siya o palladium, ruthium, nickel. These are just a catalyst to enhance the reaction. That is for addition of hydrogen. Okay. Kung na ay double bond imong sa cyclohexene yan niya, di ba yung ko, from alkene to alkane. Therefore, mawa ang double bond. Na? Yeah. Na? So that is for hydrogenation. Okay. What are polymers? Actually, polymers are, na, these are, these are so-called example of your alkene, but a very long chain. No? This is coming from that Greek word poly, meaning many parts. No? Many parts. It's a long chain molecules that's synthesized by bonding no? into a monomer, from long into a monomeric unit. Okay. So what are its monomer? No? Monomer, these are no? polymer synthesized into a simpler component. No? So, so what are the structure of this polymer? They are the so-called the polyethylenes. No? So ethylene, tapos hidungagan o daghan ng ethylene, you will form a polyethylene like that. Mm. So a protein added with Many more no, monomeric of polyethylene, you will form here a long chain of polypropylene. Okay. So, example of this is a vinyl chloride no, added with a poly, no, many units of a polymer, you will have a polyvinyl chloride. PVC, what are PVC? Can you mga pipes na to? No? gamit in the water district that are PVC. Huh? So these are different polymers. Example of different polymers. Na? You have the ethylene. From ethylene, na? meaning the source is ethylene, you will come up with this kind of polymer. It's a polyethylene, polyethene. Na? So these are containers. Na? which is brake resistant containers. Ito mga plastic pa, no? Brake resistant containers needed for packaging. We have also propylene, no? Propylene they are, no? Used in textile and carpet fibers. We have the vinyl chloride which is used in the PVC, the polyvinyl chloride which are the tubings, no? Then we have the 1 2 dichloroethylene. They are the mga wrap, no? Ano mga wrapping? No? We have the saran wrap that is made from the 1,2-dichloroethylene or this is known as the vinyl chloride. We have the acrylonitrile, no? These are made of the acrylics and the acrylates. Then we have the tetrafluoroethylene, the PTEF. They are the Teflon, no? Katong nasa ibabaw sa mga mm -hmm, kana magluto bitaw ta na na uh, luto ta og nonstick no nasa ibabaw nonstick kana makalha ba nga nonstick mahal na siya nganuman 
it is being covered, the upper portion of that is being covered by non-stick coating. It's a Teflon. And it is taken from the tetrafluoroethylene. We have the styrene. They are the styrofoams. No? So, the can uses sa mga, no? sa mga ethylenes, derivatives. No? Then the ethyl acrylate, the latex paint, then the methyl, methyl acrylate, they are the glass substitute. So those are most of the important kind of a substituted ethylene. No? Then we have the low density polyethylene, no? which is used in the machines, no? mga parts of the machines. Okay, here, that one. No? Then we have the high density polyethylene. That high density polyethylene are used this a high density because of a very high structural unit. No? So they are used as a cling wrap. Can you cling wrap like that? Okay, they are the HDPE and the LDPE. See, there are so many uses of the alkene derivatives, alkene and the alkyne derivatives. The polypropylene, the polystyrene, the teflon, and the vinyl chloride. Okay, that's it. Okay, Okay, Ah, and the dehydration. So these are the common uses of the polymer. No? The soft drinks bottle. Can a soft drinks bottle made from pet na siya? One pet. Oh. Uh, what is pet? Bili pet na nga. Iro, ha? It is the polyethylene, not tetrapethylene. That is pet. The HDPE, the high density polyethylene, no? these are its uses. Kamunay bahala, anak magtan out. So I will upload this and this is it. Okay. Oh, it's already. I will stop sharing. Okay. So pictures up. Picture open your, we had finished with our chapter three. Open your video. Open your cam. Modakana sila. Mm. Sige. Okay. So for you to, sige pa, si Grace, Angela, Angel, Juana. Laika, where are you? So, all you have to do is, mga bata, no? You practice, especially in the naming and the writing of the structure. Okay. So, let me have a picture. Sige na, mga naong. Sa mga guwapo-guwapa di ay, uy, kagwapo ni Jeffrey Taskeg here. Huh? Huh? Long hair. Oh, sige. Di Jane. Guapan is Jane, oh. Oh, Jane, naong, Jane, Jane. Maubag yun ay mong naong. O sa picture na, guapa. Oh, sige. Okay. Ta, magkuan sa ta. Sige, pangutan na mo. Do you have any more question? Okay, mag-quiz na po ta. Maurag yun ay trabaho ni ma'am. Mag-upload o quiz. <laughs> oh. Pangutan na mo, sa man. Kaya mo kabala ka. Ah, naman lang yun ang kinabuhi. Huwag man tayo mahimo kay Mao mong yun yun di Lahay raman na, oh, do not expect. Nga, by second sem, mag face to face na ta, dili pag yun. My goodness. Grabe. Grabe yung nahita mo sa amo sa chemistry. We had a seminar last August 3031. What may kabalok in sa career? Then what happens is, out of 17 mikabok, 9 mikabok positive. Appeal ko. Hmm. May gani kay bisag tiguwang asymptomatic ko. But it doesn't mean kung asymptomatic ka, ka di ka katakod. You are a carrier also. So I was in home isolation. Maoni ako. Ugma akong last day. Makagawas na ko. Ugma. Hmm. Man ako. Pero very sad story. Kaya nga naman. Ma'am ba snig? Ma'am may may? Mambasnig. Si Mambasnig is, tulura sila sa balay nila with her elderly 
parents. No? Siya dili siya asymptomatic. Nagrabihan si Maymay. That was 30th, August 3031 pagka... 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 September 1, pagkaugma yun na yun. Pagkaugma kay Gihilantan siya, giubog, isip one. O ang tiguang, nga ito na kong nakasakay sa iya. So, siging istorya, siging tabi, of course. So, appeal ko. We never know what may kabalukin sa ang carrier. Basta, out, out of 17, 9 may kabuok quarantine. Lima kabuok ang naay mild symptoms. Ang problema kang may may kay elderly iyang pa- parents. Tapos, naglisod siya. Naglisod na siya. So, oxygen si may may. Ang nahitabo, Miss Basnig, katunggi kan sa France. Mm-hmm. Ang nahitabo kay na-focus sa iyang, attention sa iyang parents, wa siya kabalo nga, iya pa pagmama po di ay, wa po, di COVID na po. Hmm. Ang nagabri, nagrabihan, gidala-dala ra si Cruz iyang father, and after that, after few days, natinga sila, iya na po, na, two days, ha? grabe ka paspas. Two days, after two days, ato nga siya, na okay-okay na siya, iya na pong father, gidalas provincial kay ano man, walay masudlan puno ang mga ospital mga bata so please mga bata ayaw yud mong lakaw-lakaw kay ang luoy ang elderly dili ka mo kay ka mo labaw mo vax- pero vaccine vaccinated yud mo kinalang vaccinated ang iyang papa ug siya ug sila sila tulo dili vaccinated nagrabihan iyang papa that was yesterday or the other day wala yung panaw yud mm. And Miss Mai Mai is blaming herself. Kaya nga naman siya ba yung nagdala? Hmm. Ang iya, pero mild symptoms. Ang iya. Dili, siguro mild. Kaya nga naman, yung nagrabihan Miss Mai Mai. Yung oxygen naman siya. Luoy, oy. Luoy, you God. Hmm. Kamo, okay mo. Kaya mga bata noon ba ya? Grabe pang resistance ninyo. Pero ang mga elderly, o katong na yung mga comorbidities, katong na yung mga daghang ipang intake, hmm. mao sila'y dali matakutan. So please, ayaw sa mong laag-laag kay kamu o niya magdalag virus sa inyong family. May man mo kay batan on pa mo. Kisabay wa pa makavaksin. Hands up! Hoy! Doon, isa, Hazelin, huy, pavaksin mo mga bata ha? Pavaksin yun mo. Ayaw mo to. Mga man po itong papagmama ni may may. Di ligi sila kay, ay, dagang kunog ba ipati on? So si please, please. Akong lola. Istorya daw is mama patak. Akong lola, akong lola, akong mama, akong mama is staying with my sister. Naangad to. Tapos ang iyang husband nga nagtrabaho sa dark eh, open man, maoy naka, nakakuan sa virus. Oh, positive siya. Akong mama nga elderly to asa iya, maoy nagrabayan, grabbing oxygen, grabbing, praise the Lord, okay na la. Nga naman. Isuda mo sa ospital, dili mi kasud sa ospital kaysa doctors number 26. Sa, sa pangyani, sa Santos number 21. Di mamatay na yung pasyente o na pa yung masulod. Habig yun. May gani kay na yung anak na nurse, siya yung nag-take over on. There is a roving doctor, maoy nag-hatag o maintenance. Praise the Lord. Okay na akong mama. Pero, Sa ang family sa akong sister, siya ra ang negative. Iyang husband o tulo ka anak positive, akong mama positive. So, see? Possibly, it's already Delta. No? Di naman siguro ni Kwan. Delta kay nga naman, paspas ang transmission. So, please, please, stay at home. Katong wala doon. Huwag hisel pa. Kuan na mo ha. Mm, bahalag magpila basta kay pa-vaccine mo ang sult is doctor sa akong mama kung di pa kuno vaccinated akong mama wa gyud grabe gyud ay so see okay that's it i will be uploading sa man quiz na ta or assignment sa sulti pud mo assignment sa ta ah assignment mo kana jeffrey tingog gyud jeffrey kay nice hair oh sige so that will end up our lesson And please keep safe in 